lifesaver, but can they be a plane saver as well? We'll tell you about a new device that is saving lives. Stay with us. Capabilities like 40 knots or so, but you were saying, what, what are the crosswinds there, Chad, roughly? Well, they were 21, gusting yeah. to 69 there right so there on the mountain. He that might have gotten a, a crosswind that ex oh exceeded his oh. capability. Boom. I got to tell you, those passengers. Oh, are <laughs> that's horrifying. If you're a passenger on that plane, that knuckles. has got to be horrifying. Well, well, the pilots, too, were probably not having a great day either. Well, but anyway, <laughs> they're they, the first ones. They, they went it. around and they landed just fine. <laughs> uh, not a good day for small pilots of small planes to take flight in the Northwest, that's for sure. More and more pilots of little planes are asking themselves, what color is their parachute? It was a beautiful day for flying. Ernst Kuhn of News Germany was piloting his small two-seater a thousand feet above some idyllic French countryside near the town of Gap. In an instant, it became a pilot's worst nightmare. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw an airplane climbing right toward him. So what I did, uh, pull a little bit. Then when you see the video, something happened. I believe it was a rope in my propeller. It sure was. He was ensnared in a cable used by a plane towing a glider. He was dropping like a stone. So what did he do? The first I did was switch off the engine. And immediately afterwards, pull the parachute. A parachute not just for him, but for his whole plane. He wafted into an orchard and walked away without a scratch. I can't understand how it was so, but it was so. It was a moment with, I think, very, very much adrenaline. Ernst was saved by a rocket-propelled parachute system for airplanes made by Ballistic Recovery Systems of St. Paul, Minnesota. The company claims the chutes have saved 199 lives. The technology over 25 years has grown from hang gliding industry, light sport industry, ultralights, to, to really a, a current single-engine four-passenger aircraft. Cirrus Designs is the first company to build general aviation airplanes with BRS parachutes as standard equipment. Cirrus owner Lionel Morrison is sure glad he had it four years ago when a piece of his wing fell off in mid-flight. I've got the plane under control uh, after losing almost a thousand feet in altitude. Uh, was able to take it out to a remote area where I deployed the parachute. Uh, and, of course, floated to safety, and, you know, the rest is history. Lionel is pretty sure that chute saved his life. Obviously, without the parachute, I would have had no choice but to try to land it, and I just don't know how that would have turned out. Lionel is back in the air again with an identical plane, and Ernst rebuilt his little bird himself, and, of course, installed a new chute before he took flight again. Do you think that you are alive today because of that parachute? Yes, 100%. 100%. Parachutes cost between $3,000 and $20,000, depending on which plane you're putting it into. Of course, when you ask Lionel or Ernst about Worth it, every penny. You know, it's like the, the credit card commercial. Priceless, right? Yeah, there is, yeah. Why and was he rolling? I mean, he obviously was rolling videotape on the day that he got caught in that tow line. Why? He was just having fun out with his pals and just put the video up on his... Uh, instrument panel there just to, to record his flight and caught this amazing thing. Do um, they train you? Do you have that in your plane? Yeah, I do. And I have it in my, I have a Cirrus. And you, you, you have, there's a simulator where you pull the thing. It takes about 90 pounds of pressure. You don't want to do it in the real thing because it's a one-time deal.